Hello learners of class 10. Welcome to the wonderful world of English language classroom. Learners, we are doing the third lesson from this book, the first flight, class 10 English language textbook, third lesson, two stories about flying. First one, there are two stories, the first story, his first flight we have seen, we read, we summarized it, revisited the text, did some vocabulary, grammar and so on. The second part of the lesson, the second story, the black aeroplane, we have read, we have done some comprehension activities. Learners, in this section, in this lesson, we will do revisit the text, summarize it, then we will do some vocabulary and grammar. Learners, get ready. We will, today we are going to do color idioms. So, with me is Kriti and you of course, we will do together learn the lesson. Objectives of the lesson, the black aeroplane. At the end of this lesson, learners will be able to read the text, the black aeroplane with understanding and interpret the events and ideas coherently, infer meaning of words and phrases in context and use them for purposes. Fine. Uh, though we have said words and phrases, we are doing only idioms and that is color idioms. Okay, sir. So, red tape is some green eyed monster. Oh. So, it will be interesting. We will see that how the language takes cultural uh, aspects into language. Oh. So, th that we will see. That is what idioms are actually the figurative meaning. They, suppose if I say blue eyed, no one, some are blue eyed of course, blue eyed or green, uh, green eyed monster. So, it is, it is not that, it has nothing, not much to do with green, but okay, it is about jealousy. So, cultural thing. So, we will see some idioms. Before we do it, let us present the summary of the text, subtext to you. Kriti, we should know why we are presenting the summary. It is assumed that you have read it yes. or you will read it. Learners, let me make it clear, no one can teach you read, you have to read. So, and reading is the basic ingredient, input for learning a language. We are in class 10, I would say that you should read all the chapters, all the stories and the chapters before the teacher start teaching. Why I am saying it? Once you go with one reading, the, when teacher discusses, you will get it to understand better. Then come back and read again after the teaching, you need, don't have to worry about understanding. It's easy. So, you go for the higher level. Come on, here are the summary statements of the lesson. Black aeroplane, Frederick Forsyth. Here is, are the summaries. It was in the night, the narrator was flying an old Dakota aeroplane from France to England. He looked at his watch. The time was 1.30 a.m. He was going back home to be with his family. He checked the last second fuel tank. He can't fly much. So, there are two fuel tanks, tanks in, in any, any aeroplane. Plane. One goes up, the other one. Now, he is running uh, in a kind of what they call reserve, reserve mm. of that. Come on. He tried to contact the control room in Paris, but could not establish contact. Suddenly, he saw in front his plane a huge black storm of clouds. So, now black storm of clouds in front of him. He decided to go back to Paris, but he knew the fuel is very less to fly back to Paris. He flew straight into the clouds. He thought what will see, so just ramped into the clouds. Then he thought that he would not be alive, but then he saw an aeroplane in the storm flying to the same side. The pilot's face was very comforting and narrator was very happy to see him. The pilot of the black aeroplane indicated the narrator to follow him. Half an hour later, the black aeroplane was still flying ahead. The black aeroplane turned towards north. The narrator followed the black aeroplane without any doubt. The narrator felt afraid again as the fuel was finishing. The pilot of the black aeroplane started coming down. The narrator saw the runway 
and the lights. The airport was visible and the narrator landed safely. Now, the narrator wanted to see the pilot of the black aeroplane and was looking for him. He, he did, did not find it on the runway. No, he did not find him on the runway. He went to the control room and asked the lady at the counter about the pilot of the other aeroplane. She said there was no other plane flying that time except the narrator's Dakota. Now, it's a mystery. Who directed him? Who, who flew that aeroplane? And who was that pilot? Things like that. We so the don't know. We don't know. This is a mystery. Come on, learners. There are lots of stories, including Harry Potter stories and our own uh, Indian uh, folk, folk tales. A uh, lot of things that you have to cross seven seas, then you will find something. Then if you open it, somebody directs. So there are many such things. Learners, please read the story again and do the activities. Now we are taking to the other level. We are going to discuss some vocabulary that is idioms and phrases. Let's do some vocabulary toss. Okay, sir. Okay. Read the following sentences from the story. Here it appears. Kriti will read. Sure, yeah. sir. Mm -hmm. They look like black mountains. Fine. Inside the clouds, everything was suddenly black. In the black clouds near me, I saw another aeroplane. Okay, fine. Look at the sentences, uh, the words underlined and in bold. They look like black mountains. Inside the clouds, everything was suddenly black. In the black clouds near me, I saw another aeroplane. So, black mountains, black, black clouds, everything suddenly black. What does black signify here? So, every sentence is sort of giving a different meaning to a sentence. Fine. Like they looked like black mountains. So, the clouds which were appearing in front of the pilot of the Dakota, the narrator, the clouds were like black mountains, huge black dangerous mountains for him. Fine. Okay, what, what does the color black generally refer to? Sim it's darkness. Darkness, suffering. Suffering. Sadness. Scary. It's scary. So that's what. Look at it. Uh, what follows? Now read the sentences again. The, the following sentences. It was the black spot in his life. Then second one. Come on. Can you? World War II could be described as the blackest period in world history. Come on. There are two sentences. It was the black spot in his life. Another, World War II could be described as the blackest period in the world history. So, what does it mean? Black spot? So, it is a spot, maybe a scary spot uh, and or a, a bad, bad uh, thing happened. Bad thing uh, happened to him. So, yes. blackest period, blackest period in the world history, lot of suffering, lot killing. of suffering, killings, okay. yes. So, learners, each color lang in, when you use in language, we have we have assigned some meaning, we have given some meaning, yes. black, green. Red, like so, red. Suppose you are in pinks, yeah. so sometimes you say, he is in, she is in his pink of her health, mm. means very healthy. Blushing mm. and, yeah. Blushing. So pink is a color, uh, uh, sometimes it is also gendered, it's, yes. it's a girl color, it's not true. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, later only I came to know pink is girl color, blue is, blue boy, is color. boy color. I don't know yeah. how from where it came, it's wrong connotation yes. learners. Every color everybody likes or dislikes, yes. uh, reasons are different. Black signifies something. So we are going to now see idioms with colors. Now try to guess the meaning of the word in black in the sentences given below. Come on, you are going to read out. Come sure, on. Sure, sir. Mm. Go and have a bath. Your hands and face are absolutely black. Then? The taxi driver Ratan gave a black look as he crossed the road when the traffic light was green. Fine. The bombardment of Hiroshima is one of the blackest crimes against humanity. Fine. Look at the three sentences, learners. Uh, how uh, black is used. Uh, look at it. Go and have a bath. Your hands and face are absolutely black. It's quite yeah. normal. normal. It so, signifies uh, dirty, yeah. soiled. soiled. Okay. Yes. The taxi driver Ratan gave a black look as he crossed the road when the, when the traffic light was green. Someone violated the traffic rule. Ratan, the taxi driver, got annoyed and looked at him, kind of angry face. Angry face. And 
okay contemptuous yes. place uh, we are yes. doing this yes. so we one should not do look at it again go back to world war 2 in the bombardment of hiroshima is one of the blackest crimes against humanity what is what is what does the blackest like the killings because of the huge killings mm. and it's not a good thing to remember yeah, it's yeah. very bad thing to remember come on now try to guess the meaning of the word in the sentences given below again uh, which is which is taken from the textbook come on read out sure sir mm. very few people enjoy harold printer's black comedy what is black comedy black comedy is basically when you try to make some serious issue into comedy into and comedy. suffering into yes, comedy, comedy yes. and you must have seen that uh, now uh, comedies of uh, comedians of films yeah uh, they suffer but we laugh at it yes mm. yes sometimes the shopkeepers store essential good items to create uh, scarcity then they sell it sell this in the in black come on let me tell you again sometimes shopkeepers store essential goods to create false scarcity and then they sell this in black yeah what people do that this is what black market black marketing so black marketing hide something under underground kind of thing and they uh, have some profit on top of it fine look at the next one read out villagers had beaten the criminal black and blue what does it mean there are two colors here yes sometimes we say that he was beaten up uh, black and blue by the police for his violation we should not beat anybody black and blue yeah. even law forbids uh, means what marks remain uh, yeah he yeah. was beaten severely black and blue means beaten continuously now learners this is how english language and any language has such idioms and phrases now look at it color idioms and phrases i'm i let, let let's give them some example red tape oh blue collar job white collar job white elephant silver screen so what are this red tape you know in big offices you submit an application or apply for your post or apply for sometimes pension or some relief the file goes from one person to another person it takes months together oh. so we that's called uh, mostly government offices okay. uh, so we say uh, the, it is called red tape because the files have red tapes okay okay so it says it is called red tape is some is filing indian uh -huh. offices so small approval it will go to five six places up to joint director it will go it may have been done by a particular officer at the desk so it's called red tapeism now indian government after 1990 try to reduce red tapeism so that investors can come and young people can do start business kind of thing come on learners let's see kriti is going to read out the first one sure sir out of the blue my friend knocked at the door he appeared out of the blue after 10 years so learners we need not explain what does it mean so it means he came after so many years without give, giving any um, prior intimation yeah, yeah. so sometimes you meet oh he called me out of the blue yes. i i had forgotten him so this is how look at it out of the blue all in a sudden you come okay come on next come on a blue eyed boy he is such a blue eyed boy he is treated special in all the functions so you must have noticed something in school everywhere some people get some extra this one prominence or they themselves yes. do it so the person is called blue eyed person so let me read, read the example again he is such a blue eyed boy he is treated special in all the functions sometimes he uh, heroes or heroines come wherever they go so they are blue eyed they get a huge appreciation uh, yes okay next feel blue when someone feels depressed or discontented okay Ev subhash always feels blue for everything so sometimes we feel no pink is a jubilance joy blue is the symbol of suppression Sadness. sometimes so subhash always feels blue for everything some people are worried for each and everything so that's what we should not be feeling blue every time come on now next one with the blue hmm. once in a blue moon what's that what does it mean to occur extremely rarely or only once in a lifetime okay my friend my friend calls me once in a blue moon come on then next one he comes to school once in a blue moon there are some children some students 
they will come once in a really? month, yeah, rarely. Cool. Then teacher has to go after them. Now every child has to be there in school. Yes. Up to class 10 compulsorily. It's a compulsory education act, right to education act. So because education is the essential component of a nation. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. So once in a blue moon, once in a lifetime, why, very rarely. But let me tell you how it happened. This, this phrase came into use. In Europe, in Italy, the, the Etna is one of the uh, severest, uh, ferocious uh, volcanoes. Mm -hmm. So, volcanoes with the earthquake, sometimes it happens, the, it, the entire sky is yes. with smoke and smoke. dust, then sun looks like moon. Oh. So, that is why okay. that occurs very rarely. So, he does, uh, he speaks once in a blue moon, sometimes people are quiet. Uh, he plays cricket once in a blue moon, he goes to picnic once in a blue moon. So, very rarely. Come on, these are the blue idioms. Learners, you may have many more. Now, red idioms. Come on, read. Red in the face. I saw red in his face when he ran into Ravi. Oh, there are two things here. Ran into, we will see. That's, okay. that's, a, that's a kind of uh, uh, use. Uh, red in the face means? He was very angry. Yes, red in the face. Ran into means? You go somewhere, all in a sudden you meet the person. Yes. It's not running into your person. Yes. So, uh, after so many years, I, I ran into my old friend in the market. Hmm. So, that red in the face is angry. Come on. Caught, caught red handed. Come on, go ahead. Sunny's mother caught him red handed while playing video game. So, what is getting caught red handed? Let me tell you nowadays, children are uh, almost uh, overdoing or addicted to video games. In my neighborhood, a child hides himself under the, um, uh, under the, with the, with the blanket and under which you, you will see that he will be, will be playing and mother catches him every time. He is getting caught red-handed. Okay? Red-handed. Suppose, uh, what, what does it mean? While doing something? Something. While doing the act, you are caught. caught. And uh, to put it generally, the thief was caught red-handed. Yeah. Uh, so, that means while doing the act. Sometimes it happens. Now, next, red-hot. Come on. This restaurant serves red hot soup in the evening. So, this restaurant serves red hot soup in the evening. The, not, the soup need not necessarily be red. It may be any soup, but, but they are very hot. Hot, hot and uh, means, okay? this one, uh, what is it? Spicy. Okay. Red tape. We have seen it. Come on. Again. My cap. My application is delayed due to red tape process of the office. So we have discussed it. So, the office official processes take time to send the application one, one person to another person and at last to get the approval. So, it takes lot of time. It is official red tapism. Come on. Hmm. Red alert. Hmm. The district has been put under red alert to keep people safe from the virus. Come on. Red alert is a kind of official action by the civic authorities or police or sometimes army. So, some antivo incident happened or expected to be hap uh, happening. So, they put the entire place under red alert. People are warned not to move unnecessarily and everywhere security personnel, police or army personnel deployed. So, be careful. Something is, so now this time of the uh, year in 2020, August, June, July, August, uh, many places were put on lockdown and uh, the officials were the places were put on red alert. Come on. Mm. Warning kind of thing. Yeah. Paint the town red. Have a great time party. Yeah. We paint. Come on. Sorry. Paint the town red. You cannot go around and uh, paint the whole town re red. Uh, but what does it happen? Come on. Mm. We painted the town red during the annual day celebrations. So, uh, yeah, I say. Uh, the entire town gets painted red during a particular New Year Eve, Diwali or Christmas or Eid or any other function. So, what does it mean? A kind of celebrate, celebration. celebratory mood everywhere. So, next one, red letter day. Hmm. Come on. August 15 is a red letter day in India's modern history. Okay. What is that then? It is a notable, a celebratory day and uh, important day. Suppose someone uh, wins the let us say, uh, medal, highest medal or uh, wins the game. 
it is a let, red letter day in his life. You see, the school has achieved something. May all, almost all his students stand first in some some other thing. It is a red letter day in there. So we say August fifteenth, nineteen forty-seven, is the red letter day in the modern history of India. Okay, then next one. Red carpet treatment. Prime Minister was given red carpet welcome when he visited the state. Learners, you must have understood what is red carpet welcome. So when somebody is given a overwhelming treatment. Welcome. So when when the uh, when someone wins the greatest achievement, Olympic medal, when he comes back, we give red carpet welcome. Then prime minister goes and high officials, foreign prime ministers, uh, foreign countries prime ministers, presidents come. They are given red carpet. Generally, the carpet itself is uh, red, red actually. Red in color. So that means overwhelming, overarching welcome to the person. So learners, you must grow to that level, rise to that level that people give you red carpet welcome. So you become prime minister or great uh, achiever, businessman, scientist. Then we do that. We should actually give a red carpet welcome to those scientists who develop the vaccine for COVID-19. Absolutely. Uh, that's right. And Nobel Prize, they definitely this year's Nobel Prize will go to those who make the vaccine and medicine cure for this one. Come on learners, there are lots of uh, color idioms. We have take up, taken up blue and red. red. So, Green also is there, yellow is there, is there. So, we will discuss that later. Now, I am going to ask Kriti and you to do one task supplying the appropriate idioms. Okay, sir. I will read out the sentence as it appears, then you will have to supply. Okay, Come sir. Come on, here are the statements in which you will have to use the idioms. Come on. First, he left the job because of severe. Dash. Come on. He left the job because of severe red tapeism. Severe red tapeism. Okay, in the office. It is the dash people who run the country. Come on. It is the blue collared people who run the country. Yes, those who do the techni technician job, uh, the sanitary jobs nurses, doctors, doctors are of course white collar job, so then they run the country, come on. This project is considered as dash project because it has taken three decades to complete. This project is considered as white elephant project because it has taken three decades to complete. Come on, from red to white to uh, uh, sorry, red, blue to white. I am we are introducing some more colors. So white elephant is considered managing that white elephant is difficult. So the 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 government or the project is unable to be managed. So we call it white elephant project. Then next one, his face became his has his face became dash when he was attacked by burglars. His face became black and blue when he was attacked by burglars. We have come across that black and blue beaten. Okay. Then he goes for a picnic. Okay. Hmm. Uh, he goes for a picnic once in a blue moon. Means very rarely. Very rarely. Come on. He worked hard and has come out dash. He worked hard and has come out with flying colors. This has no color, but it has color. Many in colors in uh, it. So when someone achieves something great, oh, he has he has come out with flying. He has passed out of the uh, uh, passed out this particular class, or he has cleared the civil service examination, and he has come out with flying colors. Then, people of the area do not want the want a factory to be built as it is there. Come on, read out. People of the area do not want a factory to be built as it is a green belt. It is a green belt. What is it? Green belt means which is full of trees, plants. Uh, yeah, it is a, it's for a agriculture and a green cover. So, do not build any factory. Then, people think she has been drunk by dash as she is jealous of everyone. 
people think that she has been drunk by green eyed monster as she is jealous of everyone so she is a jealous person come on green eyed monster okay my grandmother was in dash of her health when she when i met her last time come on my grandmother was in pink of her health when i met her last time what does it mean it means she was very healthy and fine and fine healthy and hale ravi sometimes tells dash to save himself from scolding Ravi sometimes tells white lies to save himself from scolding. So what is that white lie? White. People can easily find out. Yes, yes. Then it's a, a sometimes unnecessary thing. I know that many many times we say uh, people say in school, my grandmother was not well. Sometimes even tell such a blunt lie, grandmother passed away. Yes, so it's yes. a white lie just to escape from the class teacher and the headmaster. This is our children don't tell such <laughs> white lies and. Uh, i know that there are occasions we, we happen to tell lies in order to save ourselves so white lie is such a small trivial lie and it, sometimes you are caught also that's one learners this is what a language has any language has such peculiar strange beautiful usage of language uh, sometimes some of the objects we we call it she i think ship is she in english I, i don't know about hindi and indian languages sometimes uh, some of the objects country is called always she hmm yes uh, bharat mata or whatever so we have to really see uh, why language behaves that way so also learners understand language is life because we humans with the life you speak so understand that so there are many colors in which idioms or uh, idioms use those colors come on now we are i'm going to give you two things homework kirdi we hope that they are doing it the first one is consult the dictionary or google any page find out idioms with yellow color yellow he is a yellow bellied person means he is a coward then with and also green so two objects uh, two colors given find 10 idioms each and use it in sentences with the yellow and green this is one work the other work is come to the story black aeroplane what did he do he flew into black clouds then a storm of clouds he followed a black aeroplane suppose if he had had another friend or another co-pilot uh, would it have been easier for him to cope with the situation it must have been but the other person said not, not go or not to fly go back paris it would have been difficulty also yes, no yes so you also may have come across some such experience in your life so write a paragraph a lonely experience of traveling or doing a task how will you write learners writing doesn't come all in a sudden it is not making some sabji or something so you cut something and put it no there also you need effort here when you write something you can see it on this screen it is called process approach the process approach first of all we brainstorm ourselves what will i write suppose uh, this personal experience what will you write so jot down the points then make an outline number 2 then write the first draft in the first paragraph then revise it then rewrite edit finalize it there are six stages we are saying learners try at least some essays in this manner so that your writing skill improves many writers and most of the writers even newspaper articles are revised written revised revised at, before it is being finalized come on this is the homework do it thank you very much learners for having been part of it and actively participating painting then thank you kriti thank you so much sir thank you we will meet you in the next lesson next time